Hello students, welcome to the next lecture on the Laplace transformation. Today we will see how you can solve the differential equation with the help of Laplace transform. Myself, Dr. Gurk, working in the School of Mathematics, Thapar Institute, India. This is the lecture which is continuation of the previous one that is the Laplace transformation, shifting theorem, multiplication by T, inverse transformations, convolution theorems and all. All you can found easily in my channel name Dr. Harish Gurk, playlist Mathematics 2. Now, what is the objective of this lecture is we will see how we can solve the differential equation which is basically the initial value differential equation provided some conditions are given to you with the help of Laplace transform. You all know that how you can solve this with the help of the differential equations by using the complementary functions and the particular integral. But this Laplace transform will help you to solve such kind of the equation without using the complementary part and the particular integrals. In the differential equation you have to solve this complementary function and the particular integral separately but the Laplace transform solve at the same times the solution of the problem. There are basically two kinds of the differential equations. First one is whenever these coefficients are independent of this parameter, independent variables and the second type is when this variable, when these coefficients are the uh, functions of the uh, depend, uh, independent variable like of here. You can see these coefficients are my constant while in this case you can see this coefficient is uh, is not a constant r there. So how we can solve such kind of the problem? In this lecture we will see how you can solve this type 1. Thing. Let's say we will discuss these 6 examples in this case. All of you you can see that all are of the different kind. This is the first order, this is the second order, this is the step function you can see. This is of the third differential, this is the integration, this is the integration, all are of the different kinds but the technique and the method which we are discussing are the same for each problem. Let's say first one, this is the differential, you can easily solve this uh, uh, with the help of here, you can see this is nothing but my here, then you can easily solve this differential equation. But if you want to solve this with the help of the Laplace, we can take the Laplace transformation on the both side and always remember these rules are there. Laplace of the y dash is nothing but s time of this minus y0. If it is second derivative then it start from the s square Laplace of y minus you can decrease the power s y0 minus y dash 0 and so on. Similarly you can write for the y triple dash. Now since this is the derivative form so we can apply this formula for here s of this are here. Now you can substitute this value y of 0 are here. So if in case y of 0 is not given to you then you can assume that y of 0 is my c. Now this value is my 3. So you can substitute here and I can write on this side R. Can you find the value of the L of y from here? You can easily find the values like here. Now what is the value of the y is? You can take as the L inverse of this one. Now how you can solve that? You can take the partial fraction of this. This is nothing but my S minus 5 and this is S minus 2. How you can take the partial fraction? Since this is a 5, so you can substitute the value of the X is, S is 5 in here. This is 15 minus 14 upon 5 minus 2, 3. So the answer is 1 by 3. For here, you can substitute S is equal to 2 everywhere except S is that is 4 here. So this is 6 minus 14 upon 2 minus 3. So the answer is 8 by 3. Are so you can see 1 by 3 and 8 by 3. So what is the right answer of this? 1 by 3 is outside. What is the Laplace inverse of 1 by S minus A? This is nothing but E raised to power so you can see this is e raised to power 5t, 8 by 3 is common is the required answer out there. And you can also verify that after the solution y of 0 is 3, can it be possible? Yes, it will be here. You can see it's a 9 by 3 is nothing but my 3 is the required answer. Now quickly move on the second examples and so on. Now you can see this is the second order differential equation. So we need the two initial problems, uh, boundary conditions out there. Again, we can take the Laplace transformation on each of them. Now it's a second derivative, so we can use these values are there. So we can, up and for here we can use this Laplace of the first derivative. I can substitute the value here. I can take the y of 3, 0 is 3, y dash is my 6, this is again 3, I can substitute the value and I can take the pairs are there. You may observe that in all the examples, the, whatever the coefficient of the ly that is always be here. This is s square minus of the 2s minus of the 8 and this are there. Now what is the value of the y is there? You can find this as of inverse of this. Now since this you can easily factorize them. How you can solve this? Again this is the linear are there. You can factorize using a partial fraction. 
Now for here you can substitute s is equal to 4 in this. This is my 12 divided by this is 4 plus 6. Now it's my 2. For here you can substitute s is my minus of 2. So this is my minus of 6. This is minus 2 minus 4 is a minus of 6 is a plus 1. So 2 upon s minus 4. You can see this is 6. It is my 2 and this is my 1. So what is the Laplace inverse of this? 2 is the outside. So e raised to power 40, e raised to power minus of 2t is the right answer. And you can also verify that these conditions satisfy. Look at the another th third example is where you have to take the third derivatives are there. Again, we will start from here. Now for the third derivative, what is that? This is s cube ly minus s square y0 minus s y dash minus y double dash are there. Always remember that one s cube, then s square, then s and the constant are there. Now you can substitute the value of the y0 here, y dash of 0, y double dash and so on. So you can substitute all the values, you will get this r there. Again, you can see the coefficient of the l by is are same of the, this s cube, 4s square plus 5s plus of the 2r. Can you find the value of the l by here? You can take minus of 3 as of this, this can be goes on this side and take the LCM you will get here. Now you can easily, how you can factorize them, you can easily see what are the coefficients are there? 1, 4, 5 and 2. Now you can easily see that minus of 2 is the root. So I can write as a minus of 2 here. Now you can take the first value as such. You can multiply them. This is minus 2. Add them. Now you can multiply them. Minus 4. It's a plus of 2. Now you can multiply them. It's a 0. Now once it's a 0, it means minus of 2 is a root. Here. Now for here, you can write as 1s square. This can be written as a 2s plus 1. Can you factorize them again? Yes, this is nothing but my s plus 1 whole scale. Now you can find the value of the L of y here and so on. Now how you can find the L, y inverse are there? You can write this way. Now how you can get this value? So you have to use the partial fraction of this. That is my of here a, b and c. Since this is my linear, so you can take s is my minus 2 everywhere here. So what is that? You can take s is minus 2 everywhere apart from the s plus 2. So whatever answer you got that will be my a. Similarly s is minus 1 you can substitute everywhere apart from this that is from this to this you will get b and similarly you can find the values of the b, c, d and e as such. After solving you will get a, b, c, d r. You can substitute the value here you will get this one. Now you can take the l inverse on the both side. What is the Laplace inverse of this? Minus 1 is outside e raised to power minus of 2t is there. So what is the Laplace inverse of this, this, this and so on. So what is the Laplace inverse of here? This is my minus of 2t. This is my plus minus of 1t. How you can find the Laplace inverse of this? So you can see 2 is outside. How you can solve this part is there. So you can use the shifting first theorem. I can take minus of 1t is outside. This is 1 by s square. So do you know what is the Laplace of the 1 by s square? It is nothing but my t. So it means the answer of this is 2t raised to power here. You can see this. This value is nothing but my cos. This value is nothing but my sin r. Look at the another example. Here this is the h of t where h is the function of air. You can see this is my discontinuous function. So do you remember that in our last class we see whenever there is a discontinuous function you always write in the form of unit step function. So can you write this h of t as a unit step function? Yes, you can write like here. You can see 2 upper lower limit minus of the upper r and this is 0. Now you can take the Laplace on the both side. Always remember that Laplace of the unit step function is here and you can take the derivative of this. You can see what is the Laplace of the y double dash is my here. I can take this value plus 9 of this. What is the lap? You can compare them. What is the a in this case is 0. a in this case is my pi. You can substitute here. Now y of 0 is given to you. You can substitute here. y dash is again given to you. You can substitute it. That's a 0. So it's s square plus 9 of this. You can find the value of the l of pi. It will be here. How you can take them? You can take them as a separate. You will get this one. Since this is the exponential part appears in the Laplace inverse, what is the meaning of that? You have to apply the shifting second theorem always. 
whenever there is exponential part you have to apply the shifting second theorem what is the meaning of that you have to firstly start with here i can firstly solve this part how you can solve that there are the two ways you can take s square plus 9 as a upon s plus of this bs plus c now you can solve it easy since s is my linear so what is that s is equal to 0 you can substitute the 0 what will happen you will get a as 1 by 9 similarly you can get the value of the b and c another way is since this is the part of the s so you can take as the integration of this here so laplace inverse of here what is the laplace of a upon s square plus here this is nothing but my sign of a t but here it means you have to divide and multiply by 1 by 3 so it will be my sign of this now you can integrate you will get this expression how you can solve this part now whenever there is there you have to apply the shifting second theorem it means you have to replace t to be the t minus a compare them with respect to here a is my pi so everywhere where is written as a t you can replace them as a t minus pi of the unit step function do you remember that what is that this is 3t minus of 3 pi i can since cos is a even function always so i can write this also what is that this is my which in which quadrant this is second quadrant is a negative minus of cos t so it's a minus minus plus i can write here as of this one so this value is here this value i already compute as of this value so what is the meaning of this step function step function means whenever t is greater than or equal to pi the answer is my 1 by 9 of this otherwise it's a 0 whenever it lies between here this is the part of this i can add this part you can get these two answers are there because this is the first part here plus whatever the answer of this it will be my 2 by 9 is a twice of this whenever it's here otherwise it's a 0 so you can write as a 2 times of the 0 step look at the another example here again the step function is given to you but again the integrations are there so you remember that laplace of the if it is a single integration then you have to write as a 1 by s if it is a double integration of say here then it means you have to write as a s scale so you can take the laplace on the both side what is the laplace of the derivative this one this value this is the laplace of the derivative this is a 4 by s this is the step function I can write here now how you can solve this value so there are the two methods you can see how you can solve the Laplace when it's a multiply by t so it's a t raised to power 1 so I can write as minus of Laplace of this so what is that if I write as minus what is the Laplace of the step function e raised to power minus upon here now you can take the derivative of this you will get the answers otherwise the second method is you can use the shifting second theorem what, e, what you can do is you can use the shifting second theorem of this firstly what is that this is e raised to power here and replace to be the t plus a always remember when you are taking the Laplace inverse then you have to use the t minus a but when you use the Laplace then you have to use the t plus a so here a is my 1 can you find the Laplace of the t plus 1 yes you can easily find that this is the Laplace of t is my here now your target is to find the value of Laplace y so you can easily find the Laplace of y here now you can take the separate here again this is the exponential part appears so whenever you want to solve it you have to use the shifting second theorem and here there is no shifting second theorem what is that this is nothing but my 2 cos of 2t is there so only part is we have to solve this part how you can solve this part so this is the shifting second theorem so we have to solve firstly without exponential part that is of here so we can take the we can take it separate here again this is divided by s so i can take either as integration or by using the partial fraction how you can solve this value i can multiply 2 and i can divide it by 2 then this part will be my sign of 2t so this part I can take the integration if I take the integration what is that I can take the integration of Laplace inverse 2 upon s square plus 4 what is the Laplace inverse of 2 upon s square plus 4 that is sin of 2t and this part is here so what is the integration of this you can easily solve that you will get this now 
in order to get this value what we can say is we are taking the Laplace inverse so we have to replace the value of t minus a a is my one I have to replace the value here I have to replace the value here by using the shifting second theorem multiply with the step function now the, the answer of I can substitute this answer here plus of the cos of this is the required answer of this one. Look at the last example are there. So again there is an integration of there but this is the product of the integration. So whenever there is a product of the integration we always use the convolution theorem. Make sure that the convolution theorem uh, suggests to you that whenever this x second is a t minus x. So it is a x and it is a t minus x. Then we can write as a Laplace of the product of the Laplace are there. So we can find this Laplace of the both side, Laplace of this, Laplace of this, Laplace of this into Laplace of the e raised to power 2. Now I can take this as Laplace of the f, Laplace of here. So what is the Laplace of the exponential part? This is 1 upon here. Now your target is to find the value of this. I can take this on the left hand side. I can write here. What is the value of this? You can take the LCM and you can summarize them. You will get this. Laplace of f is here and f is my how you can solve this first part since this is the s square so you either you can take the double integration or you can take as a partial fraction of this so if I firstly solve this part since these are the linear so what is the value of the d I think you can easily find that I can substitute s is minus of 2 here what is that this is my minus 4 this is my minus 5 so the d value is my 4 by 5 can you find the value of e I can take as s is my 3 I can take as 3 is 3 minus 2 is 1 divided by 5 so it's a 4 by 5 it's a 1 by 5 is here can you find the Laplace inverse of this you can easily find that that is 4 by 5 is outside Laplace inverse of here how you can solve this part again you can take the partial fraction can you find the value of the a since this is the linear so s is my 0 you can substitute s is 0 here what is that this is 2 by 3 so you can solve it either you can solve you can see that as you can easily find that otherwise you can simply take uh, as LCM and then you can take the equations from here you can get the B as 2 by 3 A is my here and so on so after solving this you can substitute the value here what is the Laplace of the A is my minus 1 what is the Laplace of the 1 by S that is my 1 Laplace of the 1 by s square is my t, Laplace of the 1 upon 3 minus is my here. So what is the right answer of this? Sum of that is a this plus of this is the right answer of this problem. This is the way you can solve this type 1 problems are there. We will see in our next class how we can solve the problems whenever the coefficients are the multiplication of this t that is of independent variables. Till then, you can find all those videos of my previous lectures, Laplace transformations in my playlist, Mathematics 2, channel name Dr. Harish Garks. You can find all these through these links. Are I hope you can enjoy this session too. You can share this video with your friends. Best of luck students. Happy learning.